shall be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Uh, Brother Hassan, what that one say? Unless you want to read the whole thing. I was just trying to get to that verse 4. I Which thought was, verse 4. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Yeah. Let me I read thought, the whole thing. Unto the angels of the church of Ephesus, right? These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say, they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars, and has borne and has patient for my name's sake, has labored and has fainted and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent uh -huh. but this thou hast that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicol the Nicolaitans La La yeah okay which is which I also hate uh -huh. he that hath an ear let him hear that the spirit saith unto the church to him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. You know, I thought it was interesting. The part always, what always struck me was you left your first love. That, that was a strong indictment. But I did like the fact that it gave some characteristics of, of you, Brother Anderson. I like what it was saying is about the hate. <laughs> you know, it said they hated uh, you, they, their work, their labor. Uh, they challenged people that, that, uh, don't line up with the word of God. Uh -huh. uh, I like the part where he says, uh, what does they do? They did something. Uh, they hated evil. Man, I thought that was very interesting. Uh -huh. That they hated evil. See, the way they were doing some works, Bishop, they, they were, there were some good things they were doing in that church. But they thought they just left their first love. Who's the first love supposed to be? supposed to be God. Yeah. Yeah. Or in Christ. Yeah. They were doing the works. He said, I know that works. That thou labor and thy patient. And thou and how thou can't not bear them which are evil. Isn't that powerful? Well, I mean remember therefore from whence thou art fallen. There there's a fallen here, yeah. And repent. Yeah. And do the first works. That's powerful. That that tells me a believer could be off track. And and, and they do believe in Christ. They do believe in him. But they love this they lost their, they left their first love. Well, I know a lot of pastors that can fall into that. Yeah. That this this particular church. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of a lot of churches, right? You know, they, the they've, one, you know, there's a lot of, of pastors that, you know, these televangelists and, and these these mega church preachers that, you know, have fallen. They right. they they've committed adultery and 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 turned back. I mean, swagger really fits this in my in my mind. Yeah. And he did return back to his first love. Right, right. He had, he, he, so, you know, uh, and you believe he confessed? You probably confessed his sins, right? He, he did. He did that openly. He openly. Yeah. Back. yeah. So we. I don't think it's a, it's, a, it's not an issue about asking to forgive you something that you commit specifically. Yeah, but they, I mean, you confess your sins, but I, I don't know. I, I'm 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 gonna leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> 
Leave it alone. But all we, I we, we split. We we either splitting hairs or we're not. I, I think it's splitting hair. I think it. I think what you you saying is that sin. There's one scripture that says sin unto death. There's one sin unto death. But there's sin that we commit. And I'm saying this. Christ is saying that I have provision under grace for you to repent and move on. He's not kicking you to the curb. We kick ourselves to the curb. We don't. He doesn't leave us. We leave him. That's us. That's why he said is if you confess your sin, it's faithful and just to forgive your sin and to cleanse you from all the righteous. That's what Elder was trying to say. So I, I don't want to say that he hasn't taken care of your sin. He has. He has made provision for your sin. Your future sins have provision been made for that. But you still got to recognize it. If you're going to stay in your sin, live in your sin. No, no, no. I'm not saying sin. that you, you, you live a sinful life. Right. But if you if 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 you if God's placing if the Holy Spirit brings it before your brain, yeah. the forefront of your brain, and 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 you just dismiss it and continue in sin, that's a whole nother subject. A whole nother yeah. subject, I agree. But what I'm saying is when the Holy Spirit brings something into the forefront of my mind that is not righteous, then I immediately address it. Yes, and that's what he okay, wants to do. I'm, and 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 I re, I repent. I turn and go the opposite way. Right. And then I thank God for delivering me from that. Yes, sir. Because I don't practice it, so I'm not. It's it's not a part of me. Right. So I'm not living in sin. Right. And I just want to get to the point of that. You can speak to a mountain and be removed. And like you said, one of the things that unbelief is what held them from speaking to the mountain of casting out that lunatic. And unbelief is what's also hindering our faith. And so I'm still stuck on is unbelief sin. I, I want to say, I think you said it right. Is unbelief it, sin. I think you said it right, though, to find about this unbelief will block the power of God working in your life. Unbelievable! Well, oh yeah, God movement on your behalf. That that's a fact. That's a, that's important <laughs> piece. Because even even Jesus said that when he went home. Yeah, you you got to believe, and you know even when we did the Great Commission, remember he said they had to the deal. Remember that fourteen? You got involved with that one. That verse fourteen, he said, uh -huh. "For hardness of heart, you know, your unbelief." Yeah. All that stuff. Hinder. Gotta be upbraided, ain't that right, Bishop? <laughs> Need some upbraiding. <laughs> right. And, and, and I, I think what we want to do is that what I really want to be able to walk away with and continue to re minister with is we want believers to walk under the power, allow God's power to walk work through us. And we need to understand what hinders that. And and, and unbelief is a big one, right? Yeah. It, it, that's it. it. Unbelief is it. Well, yeah, unbelief. Is, well, I think sometimes they transgressions too, you know. If you, if, well, that's part of unbelief. That is, a, I like that. That's the, <laughs> unbelief is, is, is it. Yeah, right. That's the mountain. Be right. thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. <laughs> you got to get that mountain out of the way, right? Got to get it out. Come on, brother. I'm, no I'm, one doesn't walk in victory. Bishop, that's all I was just trying to say. That's the whole purpose of that title. Is that you shall receive power, but that power is God working through you. Confirming the word. Confirming that word, man. Confirming that word. So you but you all you need is a faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Not the full measure of faith, but you got that. But you all you need is this. Listen, I'm just trying to say we have power or God can work through us, but we have to have faith in God to make it move, to make God to move. That's what you said, right? Faith, is that what you said earlier? Is that God moving? Yeah. The faith? Yeah. Faith, faith. Faith in God. Not in yourself. No, no. Myron, <laughs> Myron can't do nothing but mess things up. Good. 
I can brag about it. every wretched thing that I've experienced in my life because of Myron. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And I think that's a blessing in it from how I was getting in it. We have power. Oh, God, is the power is in us. It's not us. It's him. Right, Bishop? That's it? It's him. It's him. We're just instruments of God. We, we're vessels for him to... We're living sacrifice. Yes. Yes. And you know, we, we actually we need to present ourselves as living, living sacrifices. So we sacrifice our will to do His. Right. But you know, it's one thing that's very important to remember as we close out on this story is you still got to say. You still got to speak, at least in that particular one, right? You you have oh, yeah. to, you got to say, be that. That's, be that's the, stepping that, out on faith. That, that's yeah. operating in faith. Come on, brother. That makes sense, Elder? You, it makes sense. You got to speak to that mountain. It makes it, to me, I mean, I got to the point where I just tried to find out what he want me to do and just do it. I, I have to go back to the military when I think about this. Is that I, you know, I didn't want to go to you out a lot of times, but they sent me anyway. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't my will that I went. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you have to say, get on the plane and go. That was why I was going to lock you up. Right. But I got on the plane and went. Right. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, and the suffering that, that we speak in terms of to me is a lot of suffering in my flesh. Because I find myself doing stuff that I inherently don't want to do. You know, I don't want to do it. My flesh don't want to do it, but my flesh want to eat, drink, and be married. And sleep with Mary and Martha and all the rest of them. But <laughs> so my flesh suffers tremendously. <laughs> that it says, oh, Lord, so you can't do that and serve me too. Right. So there's a lot of things that you just don't indulge in because, I mean, because it, it doesn't fit his agenda. It doesn't. But you know, so you, you, know, you, you, know you know, I thought, you know, I think one no, thing. But I, I, I've right. given up trying to figure out what right and wrong is. Right. I just let him tell me what it is. He's going to do it. You know, what you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Well, the, the, the thing that I find difficult is those, those times when I'm, when I don't feel his presence and when I'm, I'm feeling, you know, a lack. Right. Of, of 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 God's presence in my life. Right. You know, the, that pressing through that time. Yes. You know, that that is something that is is that I'm I'm dealing with uh well what I have been dealing with this whole entire week. And um uh, was really looking forward to today, you know, to to be with those of like precious faith. To, to, to draw from you guys to to actually build me up amen and so and so I truly thank thank you guys for this and I'm thankful for this because it, it is much needed in these 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 valleys man oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know yeah. if, 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 if I could say this we're not sacrificing anything that doesn't benefit somebody else and that's the part that I'm really having to get. I think appreciative of that suffering that we're called to endure is towards somebody else's salvation. Christ didn't die on that cross for nothing. He died on the cross for us. So he suffering, and so we're not suffering for nothing. And mind you, man, it's a lot of suffering involved because the people that just dying for or suffering for are probably the one that's putting it on you. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah, go ahead. He, he, has, he has to really allow the spirit of God to work through you. Yeah. Because they are the ones that he has put you in the presence of to bring bring to salvation when they are giving you hell. And it's a lot of it. It's like I'm tired of this. Maybe they don't maybe they don't need to save them. <laughs> maybe they don't need to get saved. But they, they, that's what he yeah, made. Yeah, for. you know, he that's see, that's and, that which is awesome. and we see it every day. We work with it every day, like man. And when I see his appreciation for folk that I don't you know, that I can't appreciate, it makes him, my appreciation of him and his love for me even greater. Because I knew I was that person at one point, you know, you, it's, it's, and maybe a lot, a lot of times even that person now, 
But man, it, it took a lot to bring us in him. <laughs> you know, he had to look at us at our worst state and say, I'm going to die for them. Yeah, and that's the same spirit I think. That's it right forward. there. We, we, we are to, man, we are to bear that cross. Yes, sir. Man, and that, and a lot of times, you know, fun. <laughs> it's it, fun, is, man. it is not a, it's not Disneyland. No, <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't Disney World. It ain't Disney World at all. Um, like, look, what did you gonna say? This was indeed the Son of God. After he helped crucify me. Yes. <laughs> I tell you, man, it's it's like you're, you 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 want to know how strong your flesh can be. <laughs> uh, yeah, try, yeah. try 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 crucifying your 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 flesh for somebody else. Come on now. That yep. you that you know don't deserve it. Man, that flesh. That mm -hmm. man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It don't well, you, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's yeah. tough when you when you know that you know, but yeah. you 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 hold on for their sake. That's tough. It is. It's tough to shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's tough to reach out for folk that keep slapping your hand. It's tough to keep pouring the people that keep using you. <laughs> but bless yeah. them that curse you. Pray for them that despite the you and persecute you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. everybody. <laughs> the life, on, life, life, life don't play. <laughs> life, life does not play. It does not play. Uh, I had a... Out of here. I had, a, I had a video that I, I had one time I wanted to show you. Let, let me see if I can play it. I think I just kicked it out. It was a real good video uh, uh, from the, the movie called Creed. Did y'all see Creed? Yeah. I think Creed 2 or Creed 1. I think it's Creed 2. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was talking, y'all may have heard this uh, video before, but it was uh, Sylvester Long talking to the young man. Let me see if I can play it real quick. On the line. Stop. Let me see if I can play it. One second. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. That was it. I'm getting a lot of background on this one. I wrote it down. I'm going to see if I can hear it. If y'all can't hear it, I'm going to let you read it. Let me read it. Let me see if I can play it one more time. I probably it's my, I think it's my bandwidth that's the problem. I got it on phone too. I would let these people go to do it. <laughs> Watch this. I can play it for you on my phone. Um, let me let me show you what you got hard. You started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will. Yeah, he's. I, I'm a, I wrote it down. Let me go ahead and read it for you. As a matter of fact, Brother Asher probably can read it better than anybody, because he, he's a tough guy. <laughs> you can take it easy and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody. You, can you read that? I'm going I'm to cut that video off because it's, it's too much messed up on it. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that video. You know, hit as hard as it's real good, but go ahead and read that for it. Okay. <clears throat> But somewhere along the way, the line changed. <laughs> no, just like it. <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> Andrew! <laughs> okay, let me read it. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was the funny. Line, you changed. You stopped being you. You yeah. let people stick a finger in your face and tell you that you, you're no good. And when things get hard, you start looking for something to blame like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbow. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you can you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit 
and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving okay. forward. This is how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be able to take the hits, not pointing fingers, saying you ain't what you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that, and that ain't you. You better do that. <laughs> I did on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> He's terrible. You know what's terrible? He was right here on my phone. Let me see if I can get that. as a motivational uh, speaking. But also the same thing the scripture said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Right? And Amen. with him, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Pastor Tim. Yes, sir. There's one scripture which says, he says that be a good cheer fire. In the world you should have tribulation to be a good cheer fire. I've overcome the world. Yes, sir. In the love of God abide with Christ from the time he got to the, to the time he left. The people who crucified him said, Father, forgive them, but they know not what they do. Yes. Final act of compassion. Oh, and I think that is where we're headed. You know, that's where he's trying to get us to that point where we're loving people regardless of what comes against us. Come on, Even bro. them when they come against us. So I think that moving forward and pushing forward is actually that. When they come to hit you, and no matter how hard they hit you, you still push forward with love. The word yeah. says, you're not overcome by, by evil, but overcome evil with good, right? Yeah. And, and it tells us that faith, even that was the conversation that we had today, that faith worketh by love. It also tells us that faith covers a multitude, that love covers a multitude of sins. It also tells us in some place that God is love. So the spirit that we work by, the power that we, we are able to accomplish through, the goal that we seek, yeah. It's to love. Yeah. It's to love. But, but to be filled with his spirit. And he is love. So if we can get in these people's faces, then they can punch us in the face. And if we can reach out and love many out, we won. We won, yeah. And, 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 and that's 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 the struggle. That is. That, that scripture, even that little poem was saying you're gonna have suffering, right? Yeah. That that was just another uh, another way of saying it from a Human, what a humanistic point of view. You gonna, oh. you gonna, you gonna take hits. Yes, a lot of them. Huh? A lot of them. You gonna take the hit, but keep on pushing. Amen. Keep on pushing forward. Keep on loving. Yeah, hey, man. Where, where's that scripture that said love? He said, "He that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved." Same shall be saved, and right? It, and it talks about love because uh, it starts out and says, "Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold." Yes. But he who endureth until the end, yeah. the same shall be saved. Yeah. So he tells you, gonna show which hell coming, it's gonna harden your heart. Amen. But if you can abide in love until the end, you'll be saved. You'll be saved. And it, and, and I like that even that little that, that rocky thing is like, you know your worth. Don't let people tell you what your worth is. You know your worth. Your son of God. You know, Christ told you you're more valuable than the sparrows that fall out of the tree. You're very precious to him. Amen? <laughs> anybody, anybody get ready to do the communion? Bishop, you can say anything you want to wrap up for it. Uh, why anybody get their communion ready? You can, you, as brother, as you get communion? 
Yeah. Okay. Right here. Matter hey, of fact, man, I, gotta get I pressed this from my pomegranate oh, tree. Woo! All right. All right. <laughs> hey, this, if you want to say something while I get my juice. Can't hear you. You're muted. Man, I gotta get out to Cali. Well, not Cali, Vegas. Vegas. Really? Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go out there, spend some time with my granddaughter, my new granddaughter. Oh, it's, it's man. Let me tell you, it's hard not holding this child. How old is she? She like two, three months. Oh man, come on. Yeah, you gonna drive out? Thinking about it, but uh. I still can't. I mean, this. I gotta use some wisdom here. Yeah, you gotta. I don't feel yeah. like yeah. renting. Paying, I don't want to pay the money to rent a vehicle to drive all the way out there and, and then come back. That's a. I don't know. Yeah, that's a long drive. Yeah. yeah. Hey, take. Hey, go rent an RV and drive out there. <laughs> then you can stay out there as long as you want. <laughs> Well, I, I can do that anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. I just got I just got to get there. Amen. <laughs> so Bishop didn't have nothing to say. I ain't hear him. Can't hear him. His, we can't his, hear him. Uh, his mic ain't working. Oh man. So, oh, yeah, here, there here. you go. Now I can hear you. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know we covered a lot of rabbit trails, though. But yeah, I, but I think I think we got some pieces out of the unbelief. Oh yeah, that's the main thing. They keep us from from letting the power of God work through us. I got some recommendations for you. Yes, sir. I'll I'll send Okay, okay. All right. Well, Elder, you go ahead and do the communion for us. I did send that, uh, uh, brother, I sent that video to your cell phone. Oh, I, I don't, I don't even have TikTok on my phone. Yeah. Oh, you don't need TikTok. It's just, a, it's just a link. It's just URL. It's not. You don't need the. Oh, okay. You don't need to have to play it. It's just a URL. All yeah, right, uh, Chris. Can you hear you? You, you muted. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, um, Elder. We're good. All right, on the night that he was betrayed, he took bread, he, he blessed it, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat all of you. But this is my body, which shall be broken for you. Whenever you do it, do this in remembrance of me, in remembrance of me. They took the bread, they break it, and they ate. You didn't break that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't break it. No, no, no. I'm still breaking it. I'll get rid of Drake for a second. <laughs> he got that pomegranate juice over there. Hallelujah. Yeah. He didn't promise, did it? <laughs> no. Man, but I tell you what, it took a whole bunch of pomegranates to get, get some juice. That brother Norty got growing in his yard, though. <laughs> Is that you? Oh. After supper was ended, they took the cup. Again, he gave thanks and praise. He blessed it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, drink, all of you, for this is the cup of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It shall be shed for you and for all men, so that sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. So they took the cup and they drank.
Now, if the silver was in it, they sang a song, and they hit it out to get to me. Amen. <laughs>